everyone, Amber here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day five of my 12 Days of Craftmas series here on YouTube. So in today's video, we are going to be making a file folder happy mail. So I've seen a ton of these different file folder happy mail things all over YouTube since I got into making happy mail, which was a couple years ago. And um, I even have a tutorial on how to make one. But um, I'm not going to be folding this um, file folder in any special way. I'm just going to leave it as is, so it's going to be quite a big piece of Happy Mail, which means that there is a lot of room to work with. So um, it can seem a little intimidating at first because you might not know how you're going to fill up all of this space, but once you have it done, it looks super cute and it's such a nice gift to send to your pen pal because there is a ton of room to hold a ton of goodies. So you can see here, I've already added some paper inside and on the cover. I left the back blank just because um, it's not really going to be seen. It's not going to be decorated. So um, I think it's fine to not add paper there. So you can either have your mail going long ways and then you can put a pocket letter here like I have seen Tina who is at Mrs. Evely do um, or you can leave it this ways um, which is what I'm going to do. So the paper pad I'm using is Safe Freeze. It is a hot buy this year at Michael's. Um, I have all of my loose scrap paper in here so I'm trying not to let that fall out. But um, super cute. It's traditional but cutesy and that's kind of the vibe I wanted to go for. So I thought that this paper pad would work perfectly. And yeah, so since I already have all my paper down um, and I just adhered it with a glue stick and then used my um, scoring tool to kind of make sure everything stuck down nicely and then cut around it. Um, but since I have that done, I'm just going to start decorating. So I'm going to decorate the cover and then the two inside parts. And um, for the cover, I'm just going to do a little layout, just kind of make it look nice. And then up here, I am planning to add a little goodie bag and then some clips to hold some extra little goodies. And then down here, and hopefully you can see this with my camera, um, I'm going to be adding four small envelopes I made with my envelope punch board um, by We Are Memory Keepers and they measure three by four, which is the six by six paper option. So that is my plans for this Happy Mail, and I'm just going to um, start decorating, and then I will um, see you guys um, near the end of the video to kind of go over everything and uh, show you the goodies that I included.
so here is the final Happy Mail project. Um, I think it turned out very cute and very festive. Um, so you can see here a little bit that it's already kind of getting chunky because of the pocket I put back here. Um, but what's great about this kind of mail is that you can just add some ribbon, tie it in a cute bow on the cover, and then it will hold everything together. So to mail out something like this, I usually use, um, I think it's a 9 by 13 inch um, bubble envelope. And um, it fits perfectly in there, and then it's all cushioned so that nothing should fall off while it's being mailed. So I'm just going to quickly kind of show you guys how I decided to decorate this and the goodies that I added. Um, so this little gold bow is from Walmart this year. It comes in a pack of six and I think it's $1.98. So this is what it looks like. And um, all these little wood pieces you see are from Target. The little stars are from last year and then the heart and the believe and this little tree are from this year. And um, this cut apart was just from the paper pad that I used. And then these tissue paper snowflakes are by American Crafts. And I got them at Tuesday morning and you get a ton in a pack um, because they're so thin and um, I think it comes with white, silver, and gold. And then I just added these little snowflakes here that are from the Snow and Cocoa collection. Um, just to kind of uh, make it sparkle a bit more and um, this little star here is actually from a Halloween alpha pack um, but it worked perfectly so I wanted to use that up so that is the cover and then when you flip it open um, up here at the top I added some little clips um, these little clips I think are from the Dollar Tree and they are super glittery um, and the glitter kind of falls off everywhere, but it's the holiday season, so I don't feel like that really matters too much. Um, just because, you know, the holiday season is all about glitter and sparkle and just fun stuff. So, um, I just added three clips here, two red at the top and then a white one. And in this one, I clipped some little pieces of ephemera. Um, I found this ephemera pack at Tuesday morning and I just added a candy cane. Um, some holly and a blue snowflake and then in this one I have um, this roll of tags that I got from Michaels a long time ago and I actually have two of them so I wanted to just include some so I think I included four or five there and then this is a little um, gift card sleeve from Target last year and it says have yourself a merry little Christmas and I just clipped that with the white clip and um, I think I'm just going to add some more goodies in there, like stickers, um, maybe even add my note or something. And then on this side, we have um, this big pocket, which is um, a goodie bag from the Snow and Coco collection. And I just thought that this brown one with the white polka dots matched everything, um, this whole color scheme nicely. So I just decorated a, it up a lot. Um, this is a cut apart from the paper pad, and then I had some little ephemera pieces, another one of those little hearts from Target, and then just some stickers. These mittens are from Target as well this year. Super cute. And then this little clothespin um, is probably my favorite thing ever. Um, <laughs> I just think it's so cute, and now I have one left after using this one, so I'm probably going to hoard that one. Um, but they were actually from Joann's last year. And then inside of here, I added two goodie bags, some chipboard pieces, um, a card, and then a little uh, sheet of stickers that have all these holiday phrases on it. And then I'm going to flip this over just to make sure you can see. This is the bottom part um, where I just added four envelopes and then added some goodies to each of them. I know I added some deer cutouts, stickers, um, little square cut aparts and tags so um and then i just use these little bows to kind of um, imitate a little closure and i just use some foam tape to actually close it up and then i just kind of decorated each one with stickers and um i love this little piece down here that says very merry i had been hoarding that for a while so i'm happy to finally use it and yeah that is pretty much the whole project 
Um, super big, but it holds a lot of stuff and they're really fun to make. So yeah, I hope that you guys um, decide to maybe make one of these for your pals this year. I think it would be a really fun gift and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in to day five of my 12 days of Craftmas series. Be sure to tune in for day six where we are going to be making some little treat bags and those turn out super cute and they hold a bunch of little Hershey kisses. So they are perfect to give out as little gifts this holiday season. And um, yeah, so I hope to see you guys for that video. Take care and happy crafting. Bye.